Hey everyone. I just wanted to give you guys an update on some of the stuff that we're working on and some sort of uh, cell changes uh, that were happening. Uh, today's topic of discussion is battery terminals. Um, always interesting. So let's uh, first get into that and then we'll explain something about these flexible bus bars and these cell separators and what we intend on doing, um, you know, now that this is here. All right, so I'm actually going to uh, get, get some of these out here. Okay. All right, so let's sort of look at what we have here. Um, this is the terminal we have been using on most of our cells and probably have around 4,500 or so of these in the market. And so far, the response has been very well. People like them. Uh, nice coverage area. As you can see, if we put the bus bar um, on here, it provides nice coverage area and works fairly well. Uh, people seem to enjoy it. It is fairly quick to build. No real problems. So the response has been very good. Um, there is one potential weak point, and that is this area right here. Basically, right at the section between the area that mounts in there. Some of our customers said, you know, they were kind of working on it and it flexes and they don't really like it. So they want to sort of uh, change it. And while we don't have many calls, some people have sent concern that, you know, they don't really like this. They think it could strip, it could swing. And since this is steel and the terminal is aluminum, it could eat it up and, and spin. So although we don't really see that happening, let's actually show you what the bolt looks like inside. So this is the bolt that's inside here. And this is the same type of bolt you'll see in many round button terminals and a few other things. This is what we see here. As a matter of fact, even these REPs, they're using something exactly like this. So for the most part, it does work. But we understand it's a concern. We want to obviously address these concerns, make sure people are happy with what we're offering. So this is the revision two of our battery terminal. And the cells that should be coming in, I would say late November, early December, are going to be um, sort of using uh, this updated terminal. So let's look at what some of the team changes that we have done. So as you can see, the side profile is now much thicker. In fact, it is, if we put next to next, it is twice the height of the original. Also, the terminal has gotten a little taller. This one is two millimeters taller than this one. So you're going from 15 millimeters overall height to 17, okay? But another thing to explain is that the terminal that's inside here is a lot bigger. So let's move this out the way. So we've gone to a terminal that's like this. And this is what, like I said, literally every terminal on the market is using this little guy right here. We just went ahead and upgraded it to this. So you basically have no chance of ever stripping it. So we'll show you a cross section of the terminal. So that's how much it's in there. As you can see, quite a quite a good bit and you know, very very stout. And this is how the original one was. Again, no real problems, but um, you know, it's it's much much stronger. All right. So, running changes of like I said the terminal and that's what we're making. Like I said, really like the original one. Has done worked well, really no complaints. But always, we, improvements are always welcome. So let's talk about this. Now, if you're in a situation where you had previously bought cells like this and now you're worried, oh no, they're not going to match anymore because one's taller. Well, that's why the flexible bus bars are going to be standard. Um, every cell that we sell in the future, instead of the standard bus bar, it is all going to have this flexible bus bar. And what this flexible bus bar is when you uh, mount it, it's going to press down and give you that perfect contact. So you'll be able to do perfect contact. And even if the cell is slightly off, off center, it's going to basically be fine. Okay. So that's a little bit about what we're going to do with the terminals. Like I said, new terminals will have this and it should do fairly well. We've got some samples and some of our pre-built batteries are already using these. 
but we got about 10,000 of these coming, so we should have these available. Finally, flexible 0.5 millimeter fiberglass separator sheets. We're gonna start including these as standard in all the cells. So the cells, every cell will have this. So if you buy a two pack, you'll get two of these. Just a nice little gesture. Uh, you know, people, you know, as much as we like the 3D printed one, this one's probably a little nicer. So we're gonna be eventually switching over to that. All right, a little bit about what we've been up to. Um, like I said, we'll be posting videos a little more regularly, but I figured we'd just welcome you and you know, let you know what we're uh, doing and how things are progressing along. So that, uh, yeah, if you, have, and if you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to reach out to us. We're more than happy to help. But uh, so far, I think this is going to work fairly well. And, uh, you know, people should, uh, I think this, this is going to address any potential issues that you have and should stop some of the potential problems with the cell terminals bending and so on and so forth. All right. Thank you. And thanks again for choosing Sun Fun Kids.